everyone we're here with glory and this request came from space cadet if you don't know who that is that is who gave me this challenge coin here from the airborne school which i am super excited about and this display that i got off of amazon like it's the coin just goes all over the place but i recently checked my mailbox and someone sent this over to me now i don't know who it was it didn't have a name but whoever sent this display for me thank you so much i received it and i can now display this coin here boom bam <laughs> and since i have like extra space i guess i'm going to actually have to start collecting coins now i have no idea how you get any of these but we're gonna learn today so yeah let's just jump right into it so we're going to count down three two one Okay. Dear Mother, I hope you are keeping well. You mustn't think that any of us are going to be killed, for they are collecting such a force here that an attack would be insane. We must make it a whole country mm. for all who live here. Many of my regiment had never seen a Negro. We fight for men and women whose poetry is not yet written. I am honored to be part of such a splendid company. I'll be giving orders to a hundred men, most of whom are older than I am. Thank you for sending my volume of Emerson. His words come home to me like truth, and that love can overcome all odds. My dearest love to father. <laughs> Dad just gets one line. Do I know I'd be shaking my boots? Steady boy! How do you resist the urge to just like run either straight forward or back? You feel like walking slow makes you just a easier target. Come on! <laughs> Can you still want to move forward? I must fall back! No! Oh! <gasps> I mean, after watching Saving Private Ryan, I guess this is a little bit easier to watch because it's not as gory. I mean, we just saw someone's head get blown off, but... Be me. You all right there, Cam? Okay. That letter you wrote to your mom was just, you know, too. Um, yeah. Maybe we we're just still too young, didn't have enough experience, but now the letter you write to your mom might be a little bit different. Oh, jeez. Silicon neck, right, Captain? Well, the surgeons are all busy, but I'll fix you. He says Lincoln's going to issue an emancipation proclamation. Well, Maybe not he the one can't the process like anything. He's going to free some of them anyway. Oh. Especially when you probably feel like you didn't really do much to help. Thomas. Captain Shaw. I was so proud when I heard. Oh, working for your father. There's a shortage of housing. Robert. Dang. My heart. Robert. Darling, there's someone who wishes to meet you. Robert, have you met Frederick Douglass? What? <laughs> a I man of very you little were words. At a I could use your help, Robert. The governor is proposing to raise a regiment of Negro soldiers. Now, we will us. offer pride and dignity to those who have known only degradation. Submitted your name, Robert, to be commissioned colonel of the 54th. He's like, no, don't take me back in there. Thank you, Governor. That's, that's a wonderful idea. And Bravo, Robert. Ooh oh my god, Robin Hood. Why does he have that, like, air about him? Like, he's just so, he looks so cheeky. Too much punch? I guess the alcohol. <laughs> Colored regiment? <laughs> What's this supposed to mean? I'm gonna do it. Oh, you are? You're not serious. Yeah, I want you to come with me. He's not gonna do it, is he? You're gonna do it. You? Can you picture me in charge of a regiment? No. <laughs> Shape up then. Then I am your first volunteer. <laughs> I mean, you don't seem like the fighting type, though. Who am I to judge? <laughs> He's like... <laughs> we will commence with bombing companies. Company officers, take charge. Oops, we'll report to your respective officers. 
It's very chaotic right now. She's in the top left-hand corner. What's with all the pushing and shoving? Ah. I need some shoes. So are we fighting to help them or are we I sleep better close up on that dog. Or if you don't mind, I prefer them more. He's and like I <laughs> I ain't got nothing to learn from how to here. I am a free man. Move your free black ass on out my face before I have to bust <laughs> it up. I'll be fine over here. Oh where you from, Phil, huh? South Hilfie. Carolina. Hey, boy. Quarter it's night time. <laughs> Maybe he can't. Can't talk. you see that he's mute? You mean this child can't talk? What if he can and he's just like, I'm scared? Dummies in field. Like, what about you there, Buck? What yeah. You, Talking now, all this smack. See? If you aren't done, so. I ran away when I was 12 years old. Well, what you doing since then? I run for president. <laughs> <laughs> he looks back at him like. <laughs> Hello. How are you? You know Charlie Morris? Hey, Charlie. Tom A word, please. Oh, excuse me, Thomas. I won't permit that kind of fraternization. What? It's only Thomas. He's an enlisted man. So? All right, of course. Jesus Christ, we're gonna be here day and night till we get this right. So, or if you're enlisted, you're not allowed to talk to senior. Commanders? Ugly Mexican African fucking whores! Forward at the half step, march! For the God's sake, like... do you not know your right from your left? No, 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 sir. <laughs> How many here do not know right from left? Do we this need to get so physical? Right. And this... Now you're learning. Honey, Prince Charlie, are you a gentleman? He is! Why are you the bloody prince of Africa? But don't look at me! <laughs> That's, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! No, the Irish are not no Dear mother, the men learn very quickly. Faster than Do they have an, truth, it seems to an me. option? Well, because beer They're abusing them worse. And they restrain themselves. Well, they had to restrain themselves. The they are dismissed from drill. Every tongue is relaxed. They must have had to learn this from long hours of meaningless and inhuman mm -hmm. work. Exactly. To set their minds free so quickly. Congress has issued a proclamation. Any Negro taken in arms against the Confederacy will immediately be returned to a state of slavery. Oh. Taken in federal uniform will be summarily put to death. Any white officer taken in command of Negro troops will also shall likewise be put to death. So are we still in this? Full discharges will be granted in the morning to all those who apply. Yeah, you got a night to think about this. You're not here in the morning. I understand, yeah. I understand. Exactly, because now it's not even about friendship, it's a life or death. And you were laughing at this too in the beginning, so let's let's see what you do. Are you leaving? Are you watching guard? Or are you just there ready? for the morning because you're like, I ain't leaving. I was born ready. Not me though. <laughs> you're gonna catch a cold sir, if you stand all night ready, in sir. the rain. How many are left? Hey! Even the white soldiers, okay. Denzel, oh my god. Glory, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Okay. You fall out when I say you're not before. Do you understand? It? Man, I just get it. That's a bit too. Sir, I wonder if you are treating these men too hard. What do you want to say? What do you really want to say? The boy's your friend, is he? Yeah, what of yes. it? Let him grow up some more. Oh. I'm torn. I'm so torn. I get what he's saying. I do. This is why I don't have any coins. There's a rumor going around that we're to be used only for manual labor. It's not true, is it? Is he still not going to try to talk to him? I know I am. Excuse me. Oh, can we at least give an explanation? Yeah, it's not a joke to him. 
You're a good shot, Private. Mm -hmm. Reload. Oh my Faster. gosh. I was like, that takes a long time to reload. Faster! Oh, shish kebab. Discharge your weapon. Let's do it! Totally me, fumbling. Good man can fire three aim shots in a minute. Three shots in a minute. How things up. have changed. Your gun. Faster. Yo, stop. Oh, uh, okay. While well, you hear the noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it! Right, when you're out in the battlefield and there's all that chaos. I, I get what he's doing, but like. Teach them properly, Major. <laughs> I've seen stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the way he snatched it back. What a waste of food. So is there a reason we're using watermelons? I know it's watermelon. Morning, you wouldn't mind getting down from your horse. From your high horse. Why do you treat the men this way, Robert? Like I get it, but like, yeah, why? And what about Thomas? Why are you so hard on him? I'm getting these men ready for battle, Robert. They're already as good as the seventh ever was. No, we need to be better. No thanks to you. I beg your pardon? You seem to forget I know you. They have risked? Their lives to be here. They have given up their freedom. And I owe them my freedom. Mm. My life, if necessary. Like, I see both sides here. He's like, okay, let's be a little more human. And he's like, I've seen what's out there. We need to toughen up more. Not a dancing school, son. Take his head off. <laughs> yeah. You're not reading your books now. Go on, go on. Get over. Get over. Now stab me. Huh? What? <laughs> Yeah, Stab what? Me. Come on! You prissy little schoolgirl! You're the worst soldier in this whole company! Now hit me! Oh! Oh! Don't tell me he's gonna cry! Don't cry! Don't, I please said, don't get cry! Up. Oh no! Robert! Robert! I just speak to you for a moment in private! Oh. Enlisted men wishing to speak to their commanding officer must first get permission. Oh my god! No! Don't cry, Tom! Yes. I mean, this is kind of what I was afraid of when I was like, you sure you want to enlist? Because he does not seem like the type to be out here. But like, I understand that this is a pa a cause that he would be passionate about. But like, oh, fudge muffins. I just want to give him a hug. And then he has to go back into the tent with these guys. Well, not necessarily these guys, with, with Denzel. Why don't you take your drum on outside and practice? Thanks, Pops. What would we do without you? And the only reason he in charge is because his mom and daddy fixed it. What you think? Why we gotta bother him? Let him be. Oof. My man say there's a farm ain't but two, three miles from there. There's a lady over there giving biscuits and gravy. Ooh. What kind of biscuits? The way he set up. What you say, Buck? Maybe get myself some real shoes? I'm telling you, boy. Collard green. Stop. Got greens, beans. <laughs> Can we request proper shoes? I mean, I'm sure that's like out the question, but. Dear mother, try as I may, I don't know these men. Because you won't let yourself get to know them. If I were a man of real strength, I might do a great deal. Oh, I don't want to stand real. in their way because of my own weakness. Robert. It's Thomas. <laughs> it's Thomas. You have to even say that, huh? I want to say... Are you going to take the high road, or are you going to... Merry Christmas, Robert. Oh. Merry Christmas, Thomas. He has a heart. Where is the brotherhood that we have seen in all these movies and shows that we've watched over here? Kendrick, Division Quartermaster. You're among friends. I hear they're deserting ten at a time. We haven't had a single incident. See? I figure the nigs never had it so good. Three square a day, a roof over their heads. Gotta know that nobody's gonna let them fight. <laughs> Am I right? Aww. If there's anything you need, uh, a bottle for the cold nights. Yeah, I put in a requisition for some shoes. Oh, he did. We're extremely limited as to footwear. But you can get an extra bottle. Excuse me. Well, stop by tomorrow. I have got my hands on the most delicious local jam. Mm, nah. I'm good. You shot. Mm, pleasure. <laughs> We've, uh, caught a dessert. <gasps> Was he just trying to get shoes? He reminds me of somebody. Right. <laughs> he's even looking, he's just so defiant. The 
The prisoner is to be flogged, but not with a whip, not a man. Yeah. Wait, what? We're, we're really... Never question my authority in front of others. Oh my god, get over this. Lassie, For be real. The boss now, and all us chillins must learn Major to Major you may commence. Really? Yeah, that's exactly how I feel too. Oh my gosh, and he's gonna look him right in the face the whole time. Thank you, Denzel. You know what? Oof! Yeah, stare at him down. Make him feel it. That is how I feel right now in my heart. It's like, I don't even want it to hurt. I want, I just want you to hurt. Oh. And yeah, he was probably just trying to go and get those shoes himself. Like, he probably wasn't really trying to desert, like, this regiment. Oh, the one teardrop. What are you really trying to accomplish here? I want to like you because you're, like, the main Mr. character. Rollins, it would be a great help oh. if I could talk to you about the men from time to time. You're gonna allow an enlisted man to talk to you? Shoes, sir. Yes, I know. I've been after the quartermaster for some time. The boy was off trying to find himself some shoes, Colonel. And you whipped him for it. He wants to fight. You didn't even More. care to find out. Oh, my God. All of the men like this? Yes. And they're out there hop-stepping. <laughs> the way they pulled up, like, standing guard in there. <laughs> Good afternoon, Colonel. Bruh. You change your mind about that bottle I was talking about? I want 600 pair of shoes and 1,200 pair of socks. Piece of rat filth. I'll just have a look around, see that you haven't misplaced them, hmm? Oh! I'm a Colonel. Nasty little cuss. Do you think it's funny? All right, all right. Calm down. He said calm down. We did it. For real, yeah, some people were walking in there with no shoes. I mean, do we know what size? <laughs> like, I wonder if he's just so detached or trying to stay detached because he doesn't want to see that, like, bloodshot and then feel from, like, you know, losing people that he cares. Oh, fudge muffins. Oh, my God. Is there anything you need? Don't try to backtrack now. I'm so bitter. I'm sorry. From the water pop. Is it about the shoes? We'll protest this through channels later on. You men enlisted in this regiment. That you'd be fine. That you would be paid the regular army wage. Thirteen dollars a month. This month, but since you are a colored regiment, you will be paid ten dollars a month. Where you going, boy? It gets paid. Come on, bro. Where, where's your pride now? Huh? Make your mark right here. Give me a color so can stop a bullet just as good as a white one. And for less money, too. That's right, slaves. Uh -huh. Step right up, make your mark. Get your right. slave with you. Yeah. 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 Just so hypocritical. Like, yeah, we're, we want to free everyone in one country. We're all the same. But not really. Yeah. I love how his his look like he does not waver. If you men will take no pay, then none of us will. Ooh. Well, I don't know. Like you just kind of spoke for like the rest of the people too. You could have just said then I won't either. <laughs> but yeah, maybe this is what you need. You need to understand their cause. Finally, you know, we can get proper clothing. And he was asking for them a lot. Look at you. It's a spiffy. People are here with their flag. But what do you really feel? Well, how are you really feeling about this? Do you, do you just want to support it, like from a, from a distance, you know? I don't know how I feel about him. Because on one hand, like I, I get what he's saying too about like he's a worse soldier. He, we can't show him any favoritism. Like it's not going to serve him well out there in the battlefield. But at the same time, it's like ooh, some of your tactics are a bit. Even if it is just for show, like, it is sending a great message and hope to too many. I 
hope they actually get to do something. Man, I forgot how hot it was down <laughs> here. Welcome home, boy. This regiment was formed with the promise that only white officers would be commissioned to lead it. Nothing was mentioned, however, about non-commissioned officers. You are hereby awarded the rank of Sergeant Major. Congratulations. <sighs> hip, hip! That's right, Hyas. Ain't no dream. We run away slave, but we come back fighting men. Oh, boy. Right out of the fields. Hey, hey, old man, where from? On the march like the Bukla soldier. I beg your pardon? It says we march like white soldiers. If we slaves in the field when the Yankee man comes, they we soldiers. Every day like Christmas. Like what? <laughs> like Christmas. He said, like, what? Come on, I understood it, too. I'm sure you can. They've been working for weeks in anticipation of your arrival. Hired a group of New Englanders to teach our colored how to read and write. The regiment should enjoy their stay here. Can't promise you much action. Meet Colonel Montgomery. He's your brigade commander. You didn't think yours were the only coloreds around, did you, Colonel? Have they seen any mischief? No, sir. What? We'll be foraging for supplies. I could use a hand. As if you think your men are up to it. Meet me outside. Yeah. Beg to report, Colonel, sir. We'll be going into action in the morning. That smile. I am surprised at how well you handle them. What do you mean? So it comes naturally to me. Time's clean, sir. Ain't no ribs here. Just some women. Let's clear her out! And like they're just standing there. Liberating this town in the name of the Republic. Uh, what? There are women and shoot the lamp. And your own people just went in there and they're shooting. What, what kind of this is savage? You really think anybody's gonna put these boys into some real combat? Well, not if you're letting them do that. <gasps> has got to be swept away by the hand of God. And now I'll have to burn this town. Tell your men to set torches and prepare to fire the buildings. I will not. Just explain that at your court martial. After your men are placed under my command. <gasps> oh no 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 we can't we can't let that happen. We can't let that happen. Fall out to set torches. <sighs> prepare to fire the town. This is so hard because it's like we either make our men do immoral things. Or I do the right thing, but then they're still gonna end up having to do immoral things under this new guy. Probably worse things. So I guess this is picking the lesser evil. But what you looking at, I wonder why they hate us. Even up north, the environment wasn't like friendly, but at least it was they're treated better than this. It has become clear that we are to be used only for manual labor. Which is... The men's good humor darkened by idleness and despair. Someday they're gonna let the 54th get into it, see? And I'm, <laughs> come on, now, cheer for, up. for real, who will have more motivation than Boy. the recently... Boy, get up off me, snowflake. I figured this war would be over a whole lot sooner. If you boys just turn right on around... Let and us. you let us head on up there where the real fighting is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, we're on the same team. Stripes on a... It's like tits on a bull. <laughs> You're looking at a higher rank, Corporal. Make me... I'll make you... I'm oh, sorry. What's going on here? Timmy! Sergeant! Yes, you. What's your name? I'm putting you up on charges. Just a soldier's fight, sir. He still was like, it's all right. We're on the same side. I mean, it's like, yeah, we're really not on the same side. That's what this really shows. Lighten your skin. Shrink up that nose. I don't have to listen to this. You can march like the white man. You can talk like him. You can you can learn his song. There ain't never gonna be nothing to him. You want to fight me, boy? <laughs> Stop. Does the whole world got a stump in your face? You better get your hands off me. Ain't no n around here, you hear me? You ain't nothing but the white man's dog. Ooh. So full of hate, you just want to go out and fight everybody. Right. And that's what these white boys been doing for going on three years now. Dying for you, fool. Annie up and kick in like men. Like men! Yes, like men. Then it's right here is you. Oh, oh. Be careful, that's all you ever gonna be. 
preach that one point you're going to have to direct that energy towards something more productive than like just hate and ooh that got to him you can give me and my regiment a transfer to combat command much too valuable to my operations here okay yes so what what is the value that they bring like morale i've written a letter to my father my father will hear about this. Yes, I've become quite a student of your operations in this region. 4,000 bales of cotton smuggled through the lines. Along with uh, confiscated valuables shipped north as personal baggage. Let you take your regiment out to fight. When? <laughs> you are bright-eyed, aren't you? When? As soon as I can write the orders. You're going to put them in, like, the most, the worst place, I bet. Are you ready to fight though? Like, mentally? Are you okay? I can't believe that went so smoothly. Of course, he is. Reload, reload. Oh, something about to happen. Something about to happen. Here I come! <gasps> oh. Reload! It's so crazy ah! how like the war used to be. I guess oh, especially because of like the available weaponry like Oh Alright. Stab twist pull. Ooh. Okay, Thomas, we we need to make sure Thomas is okay. I know I'm oh Right as I say that What happened to him? Did he get shot shot or just shot? Okay, well he's actually like in here doing like he's who came in. <gasps> yeah, send him back, send him back. I'm really like proud of everyone, like him included. I thought he would be a lot more affected by it, like <laughs> and Thomas too. I feel like I should have started with glory before going into things like saving Private Ryan. Oh wait, so he was shot shot? <gasps> and he's still stabby stabbed. He'll be back in Boston before me, sitting oh. by the fire, reading Hawthorne. I'm not going back. Robert. Was it through and through at least? Me. You won't send me back. <laughs> Thomas, you cut All the right. heart. I'm, I'm really impressed because I would have been like, okay, I'll drink some coffee at home. I know, looks like it'll all be over by Christmas. So uh, how do they do? Oh, oh, oh. I don't think we got a prayer reporter. making the paper. I, I'll talk to you later in your tent. <laughs> okay. You fought very well yesterday, Trent. I think you should bear the regimental colors. Wow. Wanted to say something, sir, but I... I ain't fighting this war for you, sir. I mean, what's the point? Ain't nobody gonna win. It's just gonna go on and on. Mm, it, it did end. Is this a philosophical question? Do you get to go on back to Boston, big house and all that? What about us? And are we still not getting paid? Well, you won't get anything if we lose. It stinks, I suppose. Yeah. And we all covered up in it, too. I mean, ain't nobody clean. Mm. Be nice to get clean, though. How do we do that? We ain't help him kick in, sir. But I still don't want to carry your flag. Okay, Malcolm. Right to mount a 10-inch Columbia. We will proceed with a direct frontal assault tomorrow at dusk. Now, our best hope is that that leading regiment can keep the Rebs occupied long enough for reinforcement. And we know which one they're gonna do. Casualties in the leading regiment may be extreme. 54th Massachusetts. Request the honor oh. of leading the attack. We volunteered ourselves? What? You and your men haven't slept for two days. Mm. Do you think they have the strength to lead this charge? There's more to fighting than rest, sir. There's character. Mm. We'll be ready, sir. Pack him in that Okay, pipes. <laughs> we go into battle. Okay. Right. Let me fight with the rifle in one hand and good, good book in the other. That if I should die at the muzzle of the rifle, I may know that you, blessed Jesus, are with me and I have no fear. 
I like seeing Denzel like this. I should learn his name in this movie. We stand before you this evening to say thank you. I run off and left all my youngins and my kinfolk mm. in bondage. Oh. Well, I'm standing here this evening, Heavenly Father. If tomorrow is our great getting up morning, yeah. we want you to let our folks know that we died facing the enemy. Yeah. That we died for freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, come on. I want to hear it. Oh, let it, let it out. Indeed. Never had no family. And that's the thing, like that. Off my mama. Oh, funny. Was taken <laughs> away from him. Oh, You're so doing fine. Um, that voice y'all's the, y'all's the only family I got. Mm. Well, yeah. yeah, and I guess that's why he was also feeling like after this, the what then? That's including you, Snowflake. We men ain't. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Oh my god. Uh, best character development moment. You're okay to stand? Like, where were you shot? Has it healed? It's been only two days? Like, the uniforms just seem to be very inefficient. Uncomfortable. So this is the main, like, the big battle. It's always on a beach, ain't it? Yeah. Your mouth would be fucked! Alright, we recognize each other now? Okay! Best seat in the house. If I should fall, remember what you see here. You men are relieved. Report to the rear of stretcher bearers. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Mm -mm, this ain't no place for you, you kiddos. Okay, please. Oh, my God. Okay, it's not okay, baby. Can we put Thomas towards the back? Yeah, there you go. If this man should fall, who will lift the flag and carry on? I will. <laughs> Dang it. I'll see you in the fort, Thomas. No. Sand all over your face and going in your eyes. Gosh, we wait here till darkness. We don't want to wait here. All right, it's it's time. I guess it is hitting. Oh, pick him up. Oh. We just saw someone just like fly in the air. What socks? Like, I can't tell if it's just the 54th year or if you had other. Oh no! <gasps> okay. <gasps> Come on, 54! Ooh. I was just about to say, what are you gonna get shot at? <gasps> I thought we were gonna be safe for the whole movie! had main character protection oh no I was not ready for that <laughs> no! what kind of movie is this we're all, we're all going down <sighs> now if Thomas goes down too I don't want to see Thomas because then that means something can happen 
happened to him? More pops. Everything is so like blurry now. My eyes, I can't even see what's going on. Okay, now Pops, you're all I got left. And, and Robin Hood. You know what? Each time I say someone's name, something happens, so I'm not even gonna say it. That was a pretty cool shot though, right before. What happened? Where's the rest of the group? Side by side. Who really wins? Oh, they withdrew. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we at least got that. That was a sad ending. This movie ended so abruptly. Um, if you would like to hear my thoughts, make sure you click on the video. I'm not sure which side of the, the page it's linked on. And you can hear my conclusion and afterthoughts there.